I wanted to test what is the best online hearing test available that you can take through your smartphone or a computer. In this video, we will cover the four best online hearing tests and our experience of using them. We are a group of audiologists at Treble Health. One of the audiologists on our team has hearing loss herself and went through the whole process of using these four different tests. I want you to stay around for this whole video to learn which test is right for you and which of the tests is the best. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, audiologist and co-founder of treblehealth.com, where we have online telehealth services for hearing loss and tinnitus. We looked at the best hearing tests and we looked at different factors that make a hearing test good. Before I get into those factors and before we reveal the results of this video, it's important to know that there will never be a complete substitute and replacement for an in-person hearing test. This is also called an audiogram. For all the patients that work at Treble Health for remote hearing aid fittings, we require an in-person hearing test from a clinic within the past six months. Why is this so? To rule out any red flags or medical conditions, for example, an ear infection, earwax, or something potentially more serious that you would want an ENT doctor to take a look at. So now that you know an online hearing test is not a complete comprehensive hearing test, let's get started on what we looked at when we analyzed these tests. Number one was what kind of test was it? Was the traditional beep hearing test or did it involve speech and listening to speech and background noise? Number two, what is the speed of the test? How quickly does it take to use it? Number three, is the test validated through science and research? Number four, what's the objective of the test? Is it to give your information to a company who wants to sell you something, or is it simply for educational purposes? And number four, when you complete the online hearing test, does it produce the thresholds or the actual measurable hearing at each different pitch, typically from the low pitch bass up to the high pitch treble, an in-person hearing test will give you the thresholds, and that's how we tell what level of boost or gain you need at different pitch ranges. Without that, you're not going to be able to program a hearing aid specifically for your hearing loss, but a professional who has access to those thresholds can program them quite well. Whatever online hearing test you will take, you will need a good pair of headphones and earbuds, as well as your smartphone or a computer, and you need to be in a quiet place so there's no background noise, so you can respond and engage with the test in a quiet setting. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist and founder of Treble Health. We have a telehealth service that connects you with expert audiologists from the convenience of home. All you have to do to start a free consultation for hearing loss, hearing aids, or our Hear From Home program is to head over to treblehealth.com. Now let's continue with the video for the best hearing test reviews. The first hearing test that we looked at is from a company called Shoebox. And at the time of making this video, Treble Health, our company is using Shoebox for our online hearing test. And personally, I can say that I've been satisfied with the outcomes of the hearing test from the audiologist side, from our side, before we talk to the patient, we're able to see the actual thresholds or the frequency pitch results on our side but the results that's sent to the patient is actually a much more simplified version. And we're going to get into that right now. At the beginning of the shoebox hearing test, it asks you about 10 questions, which is a standard questionnaire that an audiologist would typically ask you at the beginning of an appointment or before you have your hearing test. Basic questions like, what kind of situations are you having trouble with? Has anyone suggested that you might have hearing loss? Do you, do you hear better in one ear over the other? And some other basic questions. Then you get into the tone test where it measures an individual tone going softer and louder. And then you press the button on the screen to signal what is the softest sound you can hear at that one pitch in your one ear. You do that for about four tones per ear and that creates the hearing test. The specific frequency range that's tested is between 1000 and 6000 Hertz. The specific tones that are used are called warble tones which means that they are amplitude modulated frequency tones. So they sound like something like that. The Shoebox test is very easy, simple to use, and it takes about five to 10 minutes. 
we've had success with it. And from your side, someone who's considering taking the test, it is valuable to get an overall screening and an overall check of where does your hearing fall? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it okay? And should you take action to get a comprehensive hearing test in person? That's how we use the test. From the audiologist perspective, from Treble Health, when we have patients coming to us looking for expert guidance on hearing aids or tinnitus, we ask them to take that, that screening for the shoebox hearing test. So we know more or less where is their hearing. Are they someone who has good hearing or someone who has some degree of hearing loss? We're able to make referrals to the right kind of professional to do the right kind of hearing test based on that quick online screening. Next up, we have the Mimi hearing test. This is one of the more popular hearing tests because it has a very friendly user interface and the results that it gives you at the end are probably what you're looking for, which are what kind of hearing loss I have. So if you're someone who wants very specific details about your hearing in this online hearing test format, then I would recommend using the Mimi hearing test. The Mimi Health hearing test is a hearing screening tool as support for medical diagnosis, and the users are encouraged to refer to an audiologist for a true diagnosis. Uh, the test itself gives help with the treatment and the management decisions by the audiologist, and it has a mobile app which is available for iOS and Android. The free app has a 4.7 star rating out of 13,000 reviews. As you can see, it's very popular and you can get understandable results in about six minutes once you take the test. The test uses beeping tones that sweep from low to high frequency, low pitch to high pitch. And in the test, it has a sound level meter, which is very valuable to make sure objectively that your environment, your room that you're in is not too loud. If it's too loud, the test is not valid and the app will let you know. That's a great feature. The app has the ability to use masking and our audiologist at Treble Health who took this test, they have a hearing loss in one ear. The Mimi hearing test allows for masking. So our audiologist who took the test at Treble Health, she has a hearing loss in one ear. And when you're taking a hearing test, you need to perform masking or play white noise in one ear while you're playing the beep tones in the other ear. And it was reported by our audiologist that the test did this effectively. So that's a good sign. And in terms of online hearing screeners, the Mimi hearing test so far is showing us that it's one of the leaders. Mimi is registered as a class one medical device and the Mimi hearing tests have been built and tested by both scientists and audiologists. What we love about the Mimi test is that it is individualized and it gives you a user experience at the end of the test when it shows you your results it's the kind of visual that professionals and audiologists are used to seeing. And it can be helpful to compare that to an in-person hearing test, which you should get at a later time. And if you have any questions about that, please do reach out to our team at Treble Health. Our audiologist who took the test that I mentioned earlier, she said the results from Mimi were pretty close and very accurate compared to her in-person hearing test. So good job. Two more hearing tests on our list, so hang in there. Next on our list is the hearing test and ear age test. This is an app for iPhone only that has 38 ratings with an average of 3.7 overall. The hearing test through the app, it measures between 125 and 8,000 Hertz using pulsed tones. And it's identical to how we obtain the threshold in a clinic when you see an audiologist. Now, Treble Health, we're not an in-person clinic. We are completely telehealth. But of course, all audiologists are trained with in-person care, and an in-person hearing test is still the gold standard. The hearing test and ear age test did give a reliable result, and overall, it was used with minimal education or description of the results. Uh, they did show whether your result was normal, mild, moderate, or severe hearing loss. And there was a disclaimer that if you have a sudden or a severe hearing loss, that you really should get medical help. My advice would be reach out to a medical professional no matter what the result comes out. Even if it's mild or moderate, you should speak to someone who can help you make sense of what that means for your future and your brain health. The audiologist on our team who took the test is 40 years old and she can hear up to 13,000 hertz, the pitch, through the ear age test. Well, the ear age test told her that her hearing age was 50. Now, she does have a hearing loss in one ear, so 
I wouldn't go ahead and say that this test is the most accurate because it's not a, that part of the test is not a standardized uh, metric. Next up on our list is the HearX Hear Digits test. You can test your hearing in under two minutes with the Hear Digits test. And we use Lexi Hearing as our method to complete the test. It's a validated audiology screening that uses numbers presented with background noise. Commonly, we refer to this as speech and noise testing, where you're trying to hear num you're trying to hear words or numbers uh, in the presence of background noise, other people talking, which is the most common situation for why people have trouble hearing in the beginning. This test determines your speech recognition threshold, which is measured in decibels, and it reflects your ability to understand speech in the presence of background noise something that individuals have a lot of trouble with. On the Lexi Hearing website where the Hear Digits test was posted, they do mention that it is scientifically validated with exceeding 90% accuracy, and it can be taken on any type of technology, smartphone or PC computer. The interesting thing is that because it's a background noise test, it does not require the same kind of calibration and in-person tools that are often used when you go to an in-person clinic. And the background noise test is a functional test. It's not just listening to beeps and tones, it's actually listening to speech in the presence of background noise. With the Hear Digits test, you do listen with both ears at the same time, and it takes under five minutes. Our audiologist, who hears normally in one ear, came back with the results that were normal, which was expected, and some other possible results that the test can come back with is reduced hearing or significantly reduced hearing. And you'll need to follow up with Lexi or other HearX websites to learn more about that specific test and get it completed. So you've made it to the end of this video. I have enjoyed hosting you. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, founder of treblehealth.com. If you need help with hearing loss or hearing aids, I would go to us first as we are a convenient telehealth model that can get you on the right path. Hands down, our winner is the Mimi hearing test. The Mimi hearing test is the most convenient. It's used for educational purposes and it has the most ratings and the most usage online. It gives you the result that you want in the audiology audiogram format. So I would definitely look at the Mimi hearing test if you're wondering which online hearing test is going to be right for you. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and reach out to us at Treble Health if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye bye.